Uh, Mr Agnew to be followed by Mr Yegler. Stephen Le Foll on becoming the new French Minister of Agriculture Chairman. Uh, despite the fact that he was French and a socialist, I actually got on quite well with him. And I'm sure you'll all agree that he was the, most, the best looking and most handsome man in this committee. <laughs> Much to the disappointment of the girls here, and it looks as though the female voters of France have come to the same conclusion. Now, it, it's very encouraging that Mr. Danton has included sugarcane refiners in his report. Hitherto, that section of the industry had appeared to be airbrushed out of existence, along, of course, with the 800 jobs at the Tate and La refinery in London. This at a time, of course, when sugar is in very strong demand. As the British beet processing industry does not have the capacity to take advantage of, the, of this situation, the UK finds itself, and not for the first time, being in the position of a significant net loser. Long before the EU took control of our industry, cane and sugar beet had existed side by side in the UK to the benefit of our farmers and to those in the Commonwealth who desperately needed the employment. The Commission, unfortunately, has the authority to wield power in this area. If it is to avoid accusations of an abuse of power, it must deal fairly with those it controls. And Amendment 362 is a case in point. I have to say I'm disappointed with the British Government position. It wishes the Commission to scrap sugar quotas early. I have to disagree with the previous statement. This will be greatly to the detriment of the UK beet sector. Thank you. Grazie, Agnew.